Ladies and gentlemen, faculty, staff, students, alumni, and friends of the Seke Institute for Culinary Education. Welcome to our 2021-2022 Academic Year Seke Institute for Culinary Education Award Ceremony for graduates from the Culinary Associates Degree Program, the Baking and Pastry Art Certificate Program, the Personal Chef Certificate Program, the Culinary Arts Certificate Program, the Craft Brewing Packaging and Service Operations Certificate, and our Pre-Hospitality Management Associates Degree Program. I'm Dr. Werner Absinger, Program Director of the Seke Institute for Culinary Education. There are several people that I need to recognize because without their efforts and energy, this virtual event would not be possible. Professors Holly Van Ryan and Charlie Olavsky. Their efforts to get students organized, take pictures, and ensure students receive their award medals and alumni jackets are much appreciated. I also need to recognize Mike Kidder, our program director of operations, and Marsha Arp, our vital support professional. Without their efforts, we would not have the banners to, that adorn the space we are gathering here today in, and students would not be receiving the medals and the awards we are handing out tonight. Kudos to Dustin Bacon, our video production coordinator from the IT Media Technologies Office, who was instrumental in bringing this event from paper to video, including scheduling this YouTube video premiere event. It is safe to say that without the help of these individuals, this event would still be in production. Much appreciation also goes to the SEC Institute faculty, whom you meet throughout this video's introduction and during the award presentations. Thank you to all of the GRCC family who have continued to provide the conditions and support for world-class culinary and hospitality instruction on this campus as we hopefully see the rare end of this worldwide pandemic. We have come to a time to finish this academic year. We want to take some time to celebrate all of the students who persisted amidst challenges and hardships to complete an associate's degree, certificate, or yes, multiple degrees. As alluded to earlier, the Seke Institute for Culinary Education faculty has chosen to honor six students who demonstrate the ability to chart their course in our industry. So without further ado and much gratitude, Please allow us to present the 2021-2022 Seki Institute for Culinary Education graduating class and award recipients. Presenting this year's first faculty award is Professor Bob Shorts. I was honored to say some words in recognition for one of our retired faculty chefs. Chef Dan Gendler and I go back 30 years. Not only have I worked with Dan as a colleague, but Dan was the first chef to ever hire me while I was in college as an assistant chef at Steelcase. The respect and admiration for Dan's accomplishment and leadership throughout the years speaks for itself. Chef Gendler is a graduate of our culinary program back in 1985, when there really wasn't any cars. But that also was when Grand Rapids was Grand Rapids Junior College. Yeah, I know he's old. He competed in the Culinary Olympics in Frankfurt, Germany in 1988, where he earned a gold medal and a diploma. In 1991, he earned his bachelor's degree in science. And then in 2011, he earned his master's degree in education. Like I mentioned before, he was a corporate chef at Steelcase, a Fortune 500 company back in the 80s and 90s. Then in the early 90s, in 1991, he embarked in a territory that others were afraid to in the downtown Grand Rapids area. He envisioned a tapas restaurant. He was told you couldn't open a restaurant downtown with no parking, and who would be interested in a tapas style establishment in Grand Rapids? And at that time, Grand Rapids was like a meat and potatoes type of city. Dan's stubbornness and grit were to prove the community wrong by opening Sanchez Restaurant in 1992. <laughs> Boy. I could really tell you stories about his stubbornness, but I'll refrain. His willingness to lead the security of a Fortune 500 company paved the way for so many restaurant dreamers. Dan is never complacent. In 2006, he was hired as an adjunct chef 
to teach at his alma mater while all running a successful restaurant. He eventually was chosen to run our department as a program director. During his tenureship as a director, he achieved even more success. While director of this department, he achieved a fourth consecutive seven-year exemplary accreditation by the ACF EF, one of only two programs in the nation to ever achieve this. Second Institution for Culinary Education was rated in the top 20 culinary schools in the USA per FSR magazine in 2014. He helped put our program on a nation's map for culinary education. He built a state-of-the-art amphitheater classroom in our facility. It really is kind of cool. If you've never seen it, you really need to walk into that lecture classroom. He also began the first federally licensed and college-owned craft brewing education program and public tap room. He led the way for so many colleges and college brewery programs in the United States because of his vision. I remember going out with Dan for a barley pop and he took out a napkin and he shared his vision on a napkin and what he thought this brew pub would be all about. And later it became a reality. In my professional opinion, one of the greatest professional accomplishments is when he went back into the classroom where he impacted the lives of so many of our students. His knowledge, his experience, and his passion for the hospitality industry was apparent. He was instrumental in molding students' future in this crazy world of hospitality. I want to congratulate Chef Dan Gendler on the next chapter of your life. Keep cycling and keep skiing for others to follow in your path. Congratulations, Chef Gendler. Chef Michael Whitman, as you mark another important event in your journey of life, and that would be retirement, we want to thank you for 14 wonderful years here at Grand Rapids Community College and for a lifetime of industry mentoring. Your dedication to the craft and personal achievements is truly amazing. Grand Rapids Magazine's Restaurants of the Year Award, Chef of Amway's 1913 Room, Restaurant of the Year, Chef at Gibson's, Restaurant of the Year, Chef at Thornapple Inn, Restaurant of the Year. Absolutely incredible. As our department liaison to the American Culinary Association, our program accrediting body, he has a lifetime certified executive chef designation. His local industry peers have voted Chef Whitman Educator of the Year three times, Chef of the Year two times, and Chef Professional one time. Truly amazing. Along with fellow ACF member Mike Whalen, they were instrumental in starting the food basket program here for kids uh, here in Grand Rapids. I'm a firm believer that the biggest lessons in life do not come from books, but from professors like you. You have made a real difference in the lives of students you taught through your wisdom and timeless sense of humor. From the faculty and staff here at the Secchi Institute, we wish you and Diane a long, healthy, and well-earned retirement. You paid your dues, so now put on those dancing shoes. Enjoy, my friend. Dear new alumni, congratulations on your graduation from Secchi Institute for Culinary Education. All of the effort and hard work you have put into this has paid off. You're ready to claim your chef toque, your chef hat, to claim your place in an exciting industry. You are never finished learning. However, now you are your own teacher. People in our industry talk about burnout as a reason why they, they left the kitchen. Unfortunately, I don't believe in burnout. I believe when you come to the spot in your career, when you are ready to quit, you need to double down, reinvent yourself, and learn a new skill. Become quicker at an old skill. Create something totally new. In our industry, you are never done. Only I'm done. You've worked incredibly hard throughout your time with us. You've made incredible friends, and you'll make even more in our industry. The friends you make in our industry are force and fire. They will survive the test of time. I've had several friends from before, I came a chef, but unfortunately, most of them don't call any longer. You probably find this too. After old friends get tired of asking you why you can never do anything on Saturday night again and again for years, they finally stop calling. But the new friends you make in our industry will become closer and more understanding. You'll have these friends forever. 
I contact old chef friends today from years ago, and it's like no time has passed. We start conversations like we were still working the line together. Our friendships are forged in the heat of the kitchen. It's like trying to explain why we eat o over a garbage can to someone who's never worked in a kitchen. It's just who we are, and we love it. At this time of celebration, I ask you to reflect on why you decided to start in this industry several years ago. Remember your dreams of becoming a chef, maitre d' or sommelier. It's time to make new goals, not new dreams. Never give up on your dreams and recommit yourself to attaining more. The biggest regret I have as a teacher is when I hear of a graduate who has quit trying to attain their dreams. I've seen several great graduates who have quit the industry and moved on for whatever reason. I feel remorse for them for not staying with it because it takes time and dedication and hard work. Nothing comes easy or too quickly in our industry. It's worth it and you can all do it. If you can pass my blind basket, you've got what it takes. So my best advice to you at this time is don't give up. Double your efforts, make new friends, learn more, work harder, taste more. Remember, a chef that doesn't taste is a waste of space. The last few years have presented new challenges, no doubt about that. You had two choices to make. Either you continue your education and stay focused on your dreams, or you stop. Congratulations on making the wise choice. I just want to wish everyone good luck in their chosen craft. Each and every one of you has a gift that you don't realize. As you progress in your career and in your life, please understand you have an opportunity to make a difference in the community you live. The talents of cooking has a tremendous impact on people's lives. Realize the benefit of healthy cooking and what it does to not only our body, but to our well-being. I've been fortunate enough to be able to help a few people lives all around the world, and the rewards are exponentially rewarding. My personal goals in teaching is to hopefully have a positive impact on your lives and especially your careers. Don't allow negative variables on social media and in the news to form opinions on others. It is up to you to provide a positive impact on people's lives through the food and service you provide. The beauty of cookery enables that gateway to influence someone's lives. Food brings communal gatherings. My advice to you and all of you is to be thirsty for the knowledge and to continue to bring your skills in cooking and travel. Make it change in people's lives. I could not be more prouder of the individuals you are. Please know my doors will always be open to you to help you guide in your chosen profession. If I could leave anything for all of you, I want you to know these last six words I want to leave for you. Live today, tomorrow is not guaranteed. Well done, class of 2022. You've accomplished amazing things and all through a pandemic. Each of you should be incredibly proud. College takes perseverance and the degrees and certificates prove that you have the staying power needed to succeed in this amazing industry. Never forget what you've done during one of the toughest times in history. Use the success to empower you when things are challenging in the future. You've got this. Even a pandemic can't stop you. Now use this energy and momentum to go out and do great things in our industry. Good luck moving forward. Look out for one another and do what you love because when you do, the rest will fall into place. Congratulations on a job well done. Congratulations to you, the class of 2022. You have persevered and made one of your goals come true. It surely was not easy through the COVID situation. Even with hundreds of hours of lab and lecture time, not everything can be taught. A couple of thoughts for you. First, live each waking day with a positive attitude. Don't worry about the little things, the things you can't change. Make the most important things in your life the most important things. Second, embrace gratitude. Remember those that helped you get to where you are, your friends, family, loved ones. They will always be there to support you and your future endeavors. And lastly, 
Stay connected to us here at the college through our social media site. Come back and see us, tell us your stories, and hire the new students looking for a mentor. Once again, congratulations and good luck. First of all, congratulations. This is an important milestone in your culinary career. One thing I wish I had known before I entered this career, it's not to be afraid and that it's okay to make mistakes. If I had to do it all over again, I would get out of my comfort zone a bit more, tune out those critics a bit more, and embrace my weaknesses a bit more. The best advice I can give you, as you continue your careers, continue to be curious, ask questions, but most importantly, continue and allow yourself to learn and grow. I have had the pleasure to work with many of you, and the best part for me was seeing everyone's unique skills and perspectives. We all have something to offer, and this industry invites those differences. The skills and knowledge that you have obtained from our program have prepared you to embrace and find success in the industry. Now it's up to you to continue this journey. It's graduation time. Can you believe it? This is a huge accomplishment, and you should be proud of yourself. I hope you take the time to celebrate with your friends and family, maybe take a nap after all of the hard work you've put in, and really give yourself time to reflect on the experiences you've had during your time as a student here. Do you remember the day you were fitted for uniforms, given your knives, your first practical, your last one? This was all part of your culinary education, but don't leave here thinking that you're done learning. It's really just the beginning, so take advantage of every opportunity to learn every opportunity for personal and professional growth, and get in the habit of saying yes. The next step is exciting, and I can't wait to hear about all of the great things you get up to. Congrats. Congratulations. I'm so excited for the places you will go and the people you will meet. The opportunities that you will have are so exciting. Be open-minded. Never stop learning. You will learn what not to do or be. Just remember, you are still learning. Take all you can from this industry and pass it on to the next generation. You did it. You are now chefs. Congratulations and good luck. Today is an exciting day. Over the last few years, you have spent hours studying and in the classroom to gain the skills and knowledge that has brought you to this point. For some of you, today may end your career as a student and begin a new career as a professional. For others, it is a stepping stone to continue your education elsewhere. Wherever your path leads you, I hope you always pursue your passions, bet on yourself, and never quit. I'm confident we will see and taste great things from you. Congratulations, you did it. Congratulations to the Secchia graduates of 2022. You have persevered through the unique challenges that COVID-19 presented. You have completed lecture and lab classes to get to this point. It is your commitment, dedication, and hard work that has brought you here. I've had the pleasure of teaching many of you and am grateful for the unique perspective that each of you brought to the classroom. Your enthusiasm and curiosity for the hospitality industry is contagious. As you take the next step into your career or education, consider Julia Child's words. You'll never know everything about anything, especially something you love. Presenting this year's first faculty award is Professor Bob Shorts. The faculty award is given to a student or students who the faculty at the Sequoia Institute for Culinary Education have chosen that we feel will represent our department, GRCC, and the community proudly. This prestigious award is a reflection of the student's outstanding performance both in the classroom and in the laboratory. This award recognizes the stamina and ability of a dedicated student. I want to talk about this first Culinary Faculty Award recipient. This student represents great work ethics in the classroom. Their work ethics is unsurpassed. This recipient's dedication to the art of culinary was well represented in the classroom. Their peers respected the student's tenacity and passion. This student never shied away from a challenge. This student was not only a working mother, but also volunteered whenever we needed this individual. We are very proud to announce the first Faculty Award winner. This year's first Faculty Award winner for 21-22 
goes to Bertha Pancarte. Congratulations, Bertha. Thank you, Churchill. Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. I am truly honored and overjoyed to receive the 2022 Faculty Award. A few years ago, when I came to this country, I didn't know I would be able to finish a cooking career. I came to ERCC to take ESL classes, but I quickly fell in love with the culinary program. The instructors share the art of culinary with a great passion to all students. I am happy to be here, and I want to thank all my family back in Mexico especially my mother, who is the one, the main reasons I wanted to go into the culinary arts in the first place. Gracias, mamá. Gracias, papá, hasta el cielo, por todo lo que han hecho por mí a través de mi vida. A mis hermanos y hermanas, lo hice, me gradué. I did it. I would like also to thank my husband for always being so supportive of me and helping me reach my goals and for helping me strive to do what I love. Along with my husband, I would like to thank my children, Daniela, Uber, and Mireya, for understanding when I have homework to do and for being the best taste testers. And of course, I can't forget to thank my wonderful chef professors for being patient with me and for support me, support me always when I need it and for being available when I needed advice. I am so I am so proud to be a student graduate from Sequia Institute for Culinary Education. Graduating from this program is a big accomplishment in my life, but it's just the beginning of great opportunities yet to come. Again, thank you so much for honoring me with the faculty award, and thank you for all the great moments and memories that I had in this program. Thank you. Presenting this year's second faculty award is Professor Charles Olafsky. This year's second Culinary Faculty Award recipient is a student who shows her best each and every day. She continually strives to reach her full potential, thoughtful in interactions with fellow students, and always takes responsibility for her learning. For the last three years, she has part participated with the GRCC cross-country team, earning academic All-American honors. You just won't catch this one standing around. In fact, you couldn't catch her anyway. It's an honor and a privilege to present this award to Allison Hoof. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for this award. When I entered the program three years ago, I had a passion for food and serving other people, but did not have the knowledge or skill set to turn it into a career. And three years later, I finally find myself with the knowledge and skills to turn this into a fulfilling career. And I owe all of that to the faculty and staff here at GRCC and Sekia. I was blown away when I started taking classes here, not just with how much the teachers cared about what they were teaching me, but also how much they cared about everything else in my life from my careers I was going into, and also my athletic career as a cross country runner for the school. Thank you for rooting me on. <laughs> And even throughout the pandemic, these teachers worked their hardest to turn things around and give us an education even when we couldn't be here in person. And I'm beyond grateful for that. And I would like to thank my family, friends, coworkers, and everyone in my life who has supported me along the way. And also to all the friends, alumni, and students I've met throughout the program, thank you for motivating me inspiring me and pushing me to do my best. And I'm excited for what the future holds. Thank you. Presenting this year's third faculty award is Professor Holly Bun Ryan. The faculty award is given to a student who the SICE faculty have chosen that we feel will represent our department, GRCC, and community proudly. This award is a reflection of the student's outstanding performance both in the classroom and the laboratory. This award recognizes the stamina and abilities of a dedicated student. The student who will receive this award is a high achiever and went above and beyond in class. This person showed a passion for baking and the culinary industry. This person was a team player in lab classes and had a positive attitude. And the award winner for the faculty award is Megan Greasover. Congratulations, so you're welcome. 
Hi, my name is Megan Greasover. I'm honored to be receiving uh, one of the Culinary uh, Faculty Awards for 2022. I have met so many amazing and truly talented people during my time here at Secchia. Some of those being the students here alongside me receiving awards. These friendships and connections will stay with me as I grow in my career outside of the school walls. I also want to recognize how big of a part the professors here at Secchia have had in my experience through the program. Specifically, Chef Will Barajas and Chef Audrey Hackwolf. These two professors were overwhelmingly caring and accommodating to me. Chef Hackwolf assisted me in finding my current job at Nantucket Baking Company. I've been working there for a year now and still absolutely loving it. Chef Will was my professor for one of my very first classes um, in the culinary program, Principles of Food Science. He was also my very last culinary professor in pastry. I may have not talked much, but as this short speech shows, I don't always have a lot to say, but the professors here really let me show what I wanted to express and what I was thinking through what I could create. Thank you again so much for the award. Presenting the Craft Brewing Faculty Award is Professor Allison Hoekstra. The Craft Brewing Faculty Award is given to a student who has demonstrated professionalism, passion, and a desire to learn while completing their Craft Brewing Packaging and Service Operations Certificate. This year's Craft Brewing Faculty Award recip recipient is a student who has consistently gone above and beyond in every aspect of the program. She has already become an active member of the local brewing community where she has recently become the brewer for Creston Brewery. I am confident that be because of her curiosity to learn and passion to create a space for people in the craft brewing industry who often don't feel like they fit, we will see continue to see great things from her. And the Craft Brewing Program Faculty Award goes to Abby Groff Blazak. Thank you. Thank you, Allison. Uh, I am uh, just, uh... <laughs> so eight months ago, I set out to do something really scary, uh, which was make a sharp pivot from a 20 year career in a completely different field uh, to try something completely new. Uh, and eight months later, uh, I could not be more excited about uh, the, the outcome, or I guess the part of the pathway that I'm on in, in that decision making. Um, I'm especially thankful to uh, two strong women instructors who I found in the program, Molly Daniels, our craft brewing instructor, um, who when she told me in the early weeks of the program that I would catch on in no time, uh, was highly doubtful of walking into the classroom and not knowing a pump from a gasket, honestly. Uh, and Alison Hookstra, uh, who has uh, really, uh, I think, held our, our feet to the fire uh, in terms of learning about beer, uh, what goes into it, and, and how people enjoy it, uh, and how we present what we create uh, to those who might uh, enjoy drinking beer. Um, I'm also very thankful to all of my classmates who have been awesome, um, to my early mentors in the profession, uh, Scott, Brian, and John. Uh, and I, I look forward to uh, continuing to learn over the coming years, uh, and especially to be able uh, to start giving back and teaching others and, and helping them on this pathway as well. Students represent the most crucial part of our program. The second Institute for Culinary Education program director and faculty determine the program director award. The award is given in recognition of outstanding student achievement and dedication. When deciding on the director's award, we look for a person who exemplifies culinary excellence and is predisposed to serve others, who demonstrate grit and the characteristics for becoming a great leader, who volunteers to assist with special events, and who excels academically in both lecture and lab classes. I want to share with you what the faculty articulated about the 2021-2022 Program Directors Award recipient. This student is a great contributor in the classroom and the laboratory. This student frequently volunteers her time. This student exemplifies pride and passion in the culinary arts. This student consistently queries faculty to throw additional challenges her way in the kitchen labs so she can continue to hone her skills. 
this recipient's attitude was infectious to her peers through the most challenging times during the pandemic. We feel that the 2021-2022 Program Director Award recipient will rise to the occasion as she pushes her goals and dreams in the hospitality industry. She is starting this summer, as a matter of fact, as she is going out of her comfort zone to pursue an internship in Virginia with certified master chef, Rich Rosendell. For her commitment professionally and personally to the industry, it is our great pleasure to present the 21-2022 Secchia Institute for Culinary Education Program Director's Award to Abigail Crispo. Abigail, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is awesome. Um, honestly, if I could like describe my experience here in one word, I, I couldn't. Um, but honestly, this is the most life-changing experience I've ever had in my entire life. Um, the amount of hours and time I've put into this program has just been so amazing. And, you know, in high school, I was never one to, like, you know, go above and beyond on things because I was never really passionate about what I did. And, you know, when I left my first day of school here, I was actually in this class. I um, left food science and I went home and I just talked about it for hours. And it honestly became like a routine of coming home and just talking about school and how much I love it. And yeah, honestly, I would just like to thank Chef Schultz and Chef Will for everything they have done for me. They have pushed me to be the best chef that I could possibly be. And like, I never really had teachers in my past who cared as much as they did. They just wanted to see me grow and they really did. And at the end of the day, I can just only say thank you and just recommend this program to literally everybody I meet. It's the best experience I've ever had in my entire life. Thank you. Presenting this year's valedictorian award is Professor Bob Schultz. I have the pleasure of talking about the Val Victorian Award for the 2021-2022 class. The Val Victorian Award symbolizes one of the highest honors you can achieve academically. I have to talk about the student for just a minute. I remember when this student first walked in my classroom. She was young, right out of high school. In fact, she worked so hard in high school that some of her classes articulated to college credit. Her work ethics continued in college. She was laser focused and determined to be the best she could be. She never missed a day when she was in my class. She was serious. She was passionate. and She wasn't afraid to roll her up her sleeves and get in and get things done. I am honored to introduce our Val Victorian this year. This year's 21-22 Val Victorian Award goes to Abigail Wilson. Congratulations. Thank Aww. you, Chef Schultz. Thank you so much. Pretty cool. I'm gonna hang this up, show everybody. Okay, let's see. Wait. All right. Well, thank you so much. I am honored to be up here receiving the valedictorian award for this year's graduating class. Um, so I came to the Sekia Institute back in 2019. It was right out of high school. And I remember feeling nervous and anxious and little, li a little even unprepared. Um, but more than anything, I was just excited to start learning. I was eager to absorb all the knowledge about food and hospitality that I could from people who were actually passionate about it, rather than annoying my friends and family with the same topic of conversation again. SICE has always made me feel welcomed from the moment I walk through the door and has allowed me to grow not only as a chef, but as a person as well. Leaving this program after these three years is slightly bittersweet. I feel like it was just yesterday when I put on my crisp chef whites and walked into my first ever lab class. I'm truly grateful for all of my instructors and the dedication they have for their students. You all motivated me and had confidence in me before I even had that myself. I learned from you that it is okay to make mistakes and even better to learn from them. 
I can now say that I do believe in myself no matter what is thrown out in front of me, which is definitely something I would not have believed before starting the program. The Seki Institute is something that will go along with me wherever I go. It will allow me to lead in the industry as well as motivate others the way that you all motivated me. I wanna thank everyone here at SAIS as well as my family for all of your support over these last few years. It is because of you all that I can now call myself a culinary graduate. Thanks. Thank you to students, graduates, award recipients, faculty, staff, and administrators who have come here today to celebrate the Secchia Institute for Culinary Education's Class of 2022. We are grateful that you are part of our family and that we are all on this journey together. This concludes the 2021-2022 Secchia Institute for Culinary Education Award Ceremony. Again, congratulations and best of luck, graduates.